what's up guys? This is the Broken Man and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Mysore. And in this episode, we are ready to intercept yet another handful of Dutch troops, which we are going to do because our force is very depleted, so we're going to want to be a little bit careful. Let's put our Sikh Musketeers up front, just so they join the battle pretty rapidly. Let's get our Sikh melee troops up there too. Yeah, we're going to play defensive, call in our uh, reinforcements and see what damage we can do. But this army very much needs to pull back and reconstitute its forces. They've done a good amount of damage, but now they need to recover. And another army needs to take position on the front line. We may even end up taking Rome out of this, which is a good fortified base. Lovely position for some artillery. Not all of you, though. Mm, not a, no. Sadly. Let's put two guns up here. These two units go in hard against the side of the rock face. So all of these weak units deploy in the back so they can run away. They've got lots of these units are weak. But fundamentally we got a good reasonable number of Oh actually. That'll teach me to check. Well actually I like up here. I, I like my formation Gurkha's hole here. Dervishes hold the right flank. Let's just quickly knock my audio down. Good. And my general. Oh, captain. Oh, God, this is when any reinforcements are coming in. So, you guys have to get involved. Because our reinforcements coming in from up here, which isn't terrible. But we do need to kind of throw men into the front. To deal with this. Just throw men away. can't afford to not do anything because we are going to get eventually swarmed. Start blasting them with canister shot. And the Gurkha's over here to intercept. We get my dervishes here to do. We're going to do just going to do some good stuff. Holding off the enemy front line. My guns attack the enemy guns and cavalry to the rear. Dervishes hit the enemy in the rear. Gurkhas also charge the enemy. My Siege Musketeers get up here to help secure the rear. Most of these men can rout. Let's just try and knock out these Dutch troops first. So you men can't form a square, but you're going to resist the charge and stand that you will. Let's get out of here! <laughs> Mission Jaeger. Okay, 
you men push up. Blunder by shotgunners are trying to close the distance. See all my guns focus on the general's bodyguard. Got another Sikh musketeer unit, so their job is going to be to push the flank. Not that we're going to be doing much of that. Excellent. We should have to get within range of the general's bodyguard. Don't come in scattering around the field. It's just this random girl here running around. Right Look at them, they're booking it. Seek infantry to run. I've made them all walk. Run, you damn it. Okay, the gunners have. Oh, we took him out. Nice, excellent shot. There we go. We go so much to destroy that little force without taking too much damage ourselves which is perfect kill a thousand dutch for 200 mysorians excellent right let's keep the reinforcements coming let's keep flooding front line with more troops i mean i'm not i don't like the fact that that in Georgia are running these armies around the place. It's not a good sign, especially because normally alliances always break down sooner or later. Okay, we're going to defend and then we're going to be ready to get attacked by this force here. We won't necessarily get attacked this turn, we'll get attacked or this turn or the next, so we want to hold the line <laughs> as well as we can. And lose as few men as possible, so we're going to be deploying right back. Deploying right back, using our artillery to do most of the damage. Because what we don't want is have our force degraded. Then suddenly we've got another full stack of Barbary troops on our front doorstep. And I'm not super bothered about how good the terrain is for my guns because we're going to chiefly be looking at blasting them with canister shot, short range. Last gun team. Deploy. So those men have been deployed. Good, with a guard unit on the flank. Good, good, good. A melee unit behind each gun team because if there's one thing that AI will like to do it's just suicide into <laughs> suicide into my into my uh, artillery which is pretty lame okay we're all formed yeah, let's maybe put some cavalry on the right flank so my guns all focus on making a breach first and foremost because in the event that they don't run out to come get us we need to go get them 
think most of their troops are just desert warriors, farm populace, and some camels. Let's attack ground here, actually, because... Could potentially get some good kills. Bombarding near the gate. Oh, you guys aren't going to fire, though, are you? Attack a unit in the gate. <laughs> good kills, good kills. Well, let's speed up time because the AI is just going to spend a lot of time warming and let's probably more directly target the mass. So I'm not even bothered about necessarily killing them all, like wiping them all from the battlefield. All I want to do is just win and push them back. Maybe on the flanks like here, where we've got a bit of a cavalry advantage. Kill the enemy general. Excellent. Canister shot. I mean, they're just not going to be around for long enough. charge them actually they're shaken so cavalry hit should be enough yeah, and they're already shattered charge my cavalry on to attack the amazons yeah this is just going to be gonna get a bit repetitive they're gonna run come back run come back run come back you know all the good stuff let's probably get my war elephants out here as well Achoo. Push my cavalry up on the other flank. So much death. Chase down the Amazons. Probably going to be able to kill them. Sending in some armed populace to try and kill my cavalry so the elephants are going to have a go instead. Kind of the enemy camels. You think this is a good idea? Guns. Get back to firing round shot. So we need to blow our way into the fort. Oh, 
I swear we're doing terrible things. Keep on running. Charge the armed populace. How about you? It's going to kill everyone, but you're going to do a lot of damage. Bring my skirmish cavalry back. So the camel nomads are currently eager, but my guys are winning decisively. I may get bogged down. Caesar Sipahi. What Sipahi are kind of really good at is annihilating camels. All my guns focus on those camels though. Push our line though because I wonder if my elephants may actually get Isolated and defeated. Oh, you've taken the wall down. You men form a square. Let's he chase down these camel gunners. The Royal Indian Infantry Guards are going to form a square, and their camels are already wavering. Yeah, keep attacking the camels just to see if we can shatter them. Because there aren't. They've not lost that many men. Garrison troops are not going to last very long. Come oh, on, they're losing camels. Obviously, light, no, heavy cavalry is not really the best thing to use here. But it's what we've got, so we're going to use it. to be silent. You guys are a square. Bring this cavalry back to chase down those gunners. Bring this cavalry back to chase down just a unit of desert warriors. It's probably not going to be that particular unit. But I think, in general, they're a bit knackers. So I'm going to speed up time because it looks like there's one Camel unit to the rear's come back. Who are they after? One of my infantry units in the centre. Pikes form. So, Pappy, go for the foot artillery. Yeah, let's just speed up this speed up time now because it's just mopping up this last unit of camels, which could well just route. Guys, garrison desert warriors. Yeah, but it's just another symptom of what happens if you route too quickly. The enemy route too quickly you can't actually it's actually quite difficult to kill them because they just route you kill a few of them they run away come back run away come back run away come back get a bit drawn out repetitive so let's just smash this last unit of desert warriors accept the free kills and then be ready to withstand the second barbary attack that's on its way we lost 300 men they lost 3776 
It's pretty awesome. Our general may get his brains blown out though by this Barbary spy. Mohammed Al Amri. I've got my eye on you. So. You can withdraw. Replenish. Let's get another general from the Indian Guards. Your Majesty. This unit put Rome under siege and this time demand the surrender because there's no one to help. There's no one to help them and they have no garrison. Now we can repair. We can repair all the walls. Or repair all the buildings rather. You also need reinforcement. So you're you're going to come in, isn't it? Yes. Good, and you need cavalry, really. Don't have any of that. So let's just use some units of line infantry. So you're a reinforcing army. Let's merge the re let's merge the reinforcements together. You're replenishing, you're replenishing, everyone's replenishing except for the army that's currently in Rome. Probably gonna get some quite bad rebellion problems, so let's let's do, let's prevent them from being taxed. Fleet arrives. Oh yes, you're coming back looking for more ships. You're going to rob them from this second rate ship of the line. Come out to port and then you're going to look for a first rate ship of the line. You've got one slot. And this second rate ship of the line. Last for two seconds. Two firsts. Bunch of thirds. And two more seconds. Then let's hop back to Europe. Keep the spend train going. Well, I think that appears to be everything we can do. Keep pushing troops to Italy. You want to crash into a... No, I thought you were going to crash into a Greek fleet. But yeah, just keep dumping troops into Italy. But to be honest, what we could probably do with is take some of these Hindu Musketeer units that are very good units. Well, they're good units. Merge them together to create space for new units. We can use... And fold in some of these depleted Kizilbashi units into full armies, because that's quite a handy and quick thing to do. It's going to knock down their experience quite a lot, but that'll happen anyway. Because they'll be recruiting fresh troops. Okay. Okay, yours is as, as full as you can go. So you're ready. The attacks. But I want you two to be. At, well, not you two. These two to be at full strength. Before we push. So that's an army of you guys. You have a fleet of Jebex. Get them embarked. What's going to really help though is that we've got Rome. So Rome is going to really boost our I mean, I want you to get into Naples, but if... Eh, 
you, if that's how you want to do it. Yeah. Path blocked. Yes, because that's the coastline. You men hold back. Oh, I remember I wanted to put a levy unit in here. Pull these fifth rates out. This cavalry embarked. To, to be honest, with Rome, I don't know how much of this we're going to need to do. Let's keep upgrading the Madrasa in Naples. Because we have got a whole continent of Catholics and so on to convert. Apologies, everyone. I had a sneeze there and I couldn't get to the mute button. Okay. Keep building. Keep building up the roads, too. But yeah, now we've got Rome. We can get a good amount of stuff in theatre. It looks like the main thing we're going to want to keep bringing in are Israeli, because they're, we can't... Because I'm actually can't form square. So at least Israeli, that's like our easiest way of bringing in troops that can form square. And then... We want to hop back to India. Okay, we've got more recruitment being done. Oh, no, I shouldn't. That's the unit that was going to merge with them. Right, okay. So let's take... Very sure it would have been something like that. So you have two cavalry, a bunch of infantry. Yeah, you, you probably don't need quite so many units of infantry. Keep recruiting your guns. Okay, so you're nearly fully recruited. Now you probably st probably stole some infantry that was meant to go to this army, but whatever. Still, that's two more armies being fully recruited. This fleet can get to Europe. And... I mean, you guys are both Dutch brig. I'm not even gonna. It's not even worth trying to fight them. The Ivory Coast is secure, largely. Madagascar secure. Here is fairly secure too. So yeah, these two ships are gonna hold position until we get some more slots opened up. But yeah, for now, I'll just focus on trying to boost our economy and get men up to the front. Because this this war with the United Provinces is problematic. Could expand in America, but there's no real need to at the minute. There's no point upgrading anything up here, because it'll all just get raided by the Dutch. But as they bring in more men, it becomes tempting to land. Well, first of all, let's just keep let's keep attriting them because we're doing some good damage to them so far. There's only they can't endure it forever. In the meantime, I'd like to explore the possibility of going for Morocco. They're allied with the Barbary states. That doesn't matter. They trade with Spain, so we could take Morocco. Get another base of operations here. I potentially threaten Paris and the Ottoman Empire from the west. I think that's a good idea. So these two armies in India are going to work towards that plan. They're going to invade Morocco. Try and open up a new... Or, or to attack the Dutch from the west. 
That's the overall plan. Okay. Yeah, I'd like Naples to build a... <laughs> to spawn a uh, priest fairly soon. So I can begin to start to try to convert Italy. Ultimately, as I clear it, I will be building madrasas pretty much in all of my territories. Let's try and maintain that conversion. So let's see. Now the Dutch are going to go off that small fleet in the top of the screen. Let's see how many men my little Jebet gets. That no, doesn't kill any of them. Could potentially be worthwhile using Morocco just to build up my naval forces to intercept these Dutch fleets and to raid their ports along the coast. I should attack those individual fleets wherever I see them, really. If I'm going to take war to the Dutch, I should take war to the Dutch every time they are spotted, especially when they're raiding my trade lanes. Uh-oh, where are you going, Russia? Where are you going? Yeah, attacking Morocco would be prudent. <laughs> if we can bottle off bottle off the Mediterranean, that would really help. Yeah, Georgia, attack Russia. That's fine. Just push north. Don't look at me. He's a Dutch fleet there. And here comes another Barbary States force. So we're going to defend it once again. It looks like this is actually going to be the bulk of their strength all the way to Tripoli. Uh, destroyed. We might take a bit of time to actually bring the territory under our control. Uh, but that's manageable. We can do that. We don't have to take the North African coast as quickly as possible. I want to take Morocco. Build a garrison there, ready to defend against Spain. One thing I don't want is to have... I mean, eventually, Spain will declare war on me. A, because they hate me, because I'm the human player. And B, because they they want Morocco. So they've currently got trade relations with them. So that's giving them a bit of positive juju. And it actually looks like we want to push... I'm doing this to kind of spread my firepower out. Something like that. It's not you. So the units that are deployed in between the guns are you guys, which means we've got three units on the left. They're on the defensive, but we're going to push, because why the hell not? Well, we're going to push, because we have to, because of the artillery. We cannot get a good... We don't get a good firing position from back here. Well, they've all deployed a bit funky anyway. Very well. Not strictly speaking, the top, tippity top. Yeah, two units of demi cannons. 
my 12 pounders have much a much better three pieces ultimate part of the reason why I don't mind deploying slightly back is because my ship my guys will lob shells over the over the terrain Ready and fire. So because they've surrounded their guns with their army, any misses are gonna be quite delicious. And they're all gonna focus on the guns because that's their natural state. It's like inbuilt behaviour to focus on artillery. And I'm okay with that. Yeah, we've got war elephants over here. Fire! Yeah, well, they're broken. Let's see where the enemy reinforcements come in from. Knocked out one gun. See any undershots we hit the Desert Warriors, every overshot we hit camel gunners and so on to the rear. I mean, you attacked me, so I don't quite know. What are you doing? Whoa, okay, no, not you. Just keep bombarding them. See, I attacked the enemy camel gunners, and I think I've annoyed one of them because they're just suddenly going. My eye on her. Took out a huge line of camels here. Look at that. People say, but cannibals don't bounce. They killed this guy, then went whoop. <laughs> yes, they do. We're yeah. charging. But now they're not. But now they are. you go. The general's bodyguard's been a bit ballsy. Because Abashi Cavalry have something to say to these pirates. Hanachu! I run straight through. Pow! Hunted that guy. Ceasefire. See, look how many men die because of that. How much time they're willing to spend maneuvering. Shattered though. The question is, I think I'm just going to gobble them up pretty nicely. You men fire at will, so you should be loaded and ready to rock and roll.
ceasefire. Seize fire on the firing line. This gun, it. Okay, my gunners pretty much just kind of focus on the camel gunners. Do any regular troops we bring into the fight? They're gonna be more than enough to deal with these fellas. Cavalry chase the desert warriors. My Sapahi holds ground. I just want to shatter them. I don't necessarily want to kill them. I just want them to not want to fight anymore. The hacking down the odd warrior as he lags behind. Hey, come on, nomads are coming back. Okay, that's the reinforcements coming in from, so don't keep pushing. I oh, know that's where the reinforcements are coming in from. I am a giddy goat. Make ready. Form a blocking line. Let's run the war elephants into the centre. Question. Yeah. No, I didn't want my. I thought I'd pull my cavalry back. Cheese it. Skirmishers go for their gunners. War elephants go for the desert warriors. Good old elephants. <laughs> yeah, they didn't like that. to stop the gunners from firing now in general just limber up oh yeah no stay here there's a ridge oh they they, they took my movement for a charge very well We shall meet you on the battlefield. Just get everyone over here now. Ah, uh, yes, it's the camel gunners that still pose a problem here. They can advance over towards the camels, they like camels. Get my 
to Pahi over here to try also fight the camels. Looks like we're turning this into a good old fashioned melee fight. Everyone else is done for. Let's make sure whatever happens to the guns that they do kind of advance to an area that's slightly safer for our men. Go on, new warriors, you can get in there and have to show them a taste of it. You men push up to form a new front line. Sweet. How can this limited unit of cavalry deal with one Hindu warrior unit? Okay, you men. Reload. Get ready to burn powder. Make ready. They're drilling. Reload, damn it. Have we go at the last unit of Desert Warriors. This unit of our populace is getting raked by fire. Because of Ashi, yeah, they're shattered. have been pushed back. There's one gun team. <laughs> They've been dealt with. The Hindu warriors up to attack the camel gunners. reload before my Hindu warriors get in. No, they don't. Charge the remaining gunners. Push my warriors in. Push my pikemen in. Push everyone in. How about you? Pikemen are going to like having a go at them. This poor arm populace. Get in there, pikemen. Jabby stick boys. They'll really not like you. They not like you anyway. They're off. Everyone's off. Hurrah! Awesome. So that's the fighting near Tripoli done. Yeah, so they've still got a good number of troops left, but we're not going to do anything particularly aggressive. Just maintain our slow and steady approach. Raids at Bologna. Actually, they've got over us quite nicely. So let's get rid of this Iron Master's works. Actually, no, don't do that. Get rid of its pleasure gardens because they're already broken. So you can recruit a not terrible army here, just not necessarily what we want. So you can keep punishing, fleet stride. That's very 
very grandiose term for a, a, one ship. Okay, keep on with the upgrades. I think we're in a position where I can stop doing this now. Because we've got... Not necessarily like complete superiority here, but we've got a good, a good number of men here in reserve. Get this sloop back here. Get these two Jebex out. Let's take. See, it's not that it's not the Israelia, this line of unit that's just so good. I have to get it to the front line. It's more about bulk. It's more about bulk because we've got a, a lot of enemies to kill. Our fighting style isn't necessarily the most efficient when it comes to men's lives. So we need to be reasonable. Got lots of Jebex here, but that's more for raiding when the big war starts. Two fifths and two fourths. Okay, right, let's combine some of these ships to become reasonable little fleets of their own. You're doing pretty good on your own. As are you. Okay, right, let's pick up a few extra third rate ships of the line. Yeah, let's carry on back with our Rajiv Academy in Mysore. Good stuff. Steam powered factories galore, ordnance counts and Anatolia. Keep on upgrading if you never know when you're gonna have to suddenly stand up an army. Brothel and Konya, keep them happy. Yeah, just keep the upgrades rolling. Got the upgrade in Naples, got the vineyards, Elat. Get a pottery workshop. Lots of steam powered factories and so on. You're still trying to kill my general. Okay. So we've got this guy here waiting for his one unit to come from somewhere. If you're both going to him. No, ah, it's war elephants. Okay. Let's preemptively... Let's bring one sloop over. Oh no, we'll need... You're right. You'll need a sloop, and you'll need a sloop. Because both these armies, yeah, they are going to go for... Go for... Um, my, uh, not my soul. Morocco. Okay... That's generally everything we want to do. We've got a number of naval engagements to fight. We want to take out this guy, Master Hutman. We want to bring in first rich ship of the line, and then the rest can all be scuppered. We've also got this fleet here in the Med, which is largely centered around one heavy first rate and two second rate ships of the line. So you're going to get smacked by this force here. That's problem. I'd like more first rates. I've got lo I've got loads of ships. But I want I want overmatch when I fight. That's what I want. Okay, you can't build Admiral's flagship. First rate. Okay, those all might all have to come out of the steam dry dock. But yeah, for now you keep doing what you're doing. Instead. Egypt, Palestine, Hyderabad, Arabian Sea, Mediterranean Sea. Workers on strike in central Italy. Yeah, well, not any more than not. OK, 
Okay, so if we bring... The question is how... Okay, right. This is where we're going to have to stack the deck. You men push. You men don't need to push, but I want to get this army out of the fort. You men can get in. Yes, me lord. So if I move in, if I move in again, I'm just doing this carefully because I want to get all my guys within range of their guys. I'm accepting the fact they might intercept us at any minute, but I want to keep creeping forward. So when I do this, we got quite a significant overmatch over the enemy, but looking at the timer i believe it will be time to end the episode so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed i'm sorry to end this in a very similar state as last time but i think we are making progress and we just have to push up through the italian peninsula so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time for the continued adventures of mysore cheers everyone